Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 7.49 a.m. I just put the wheatgrass on the play rug in the living room. Boo's on free roam. And I thought he might either play with it or eat some of it. I have to finish getting ready for my day and I thought this would be a good way to keep him occupied while I do that. One of his toys is in there, so. It's been in there since yesterday. Does he not know? Boo! What is that? What is that, Boo? You don't want to get your toy? Where's your toy? I like the fact that this is a big tray of wheatgrass because that is what I wanted for the cats. I mean, they're not outside, obviously. So it's really like bringing a little bit of the outside in, in a good way. It's really grown big and lush. And so far it's been really good because I haven't had to do a whole lot to care for it. I have sprayed water on it from like a spray bottle, but that's all I've really done. So today would be day 11 for this. Normally when I buy wheatgrass in the store, it lasts between 15 and 17 days. So if I could get this to last longer than 15 or 17 days, I think that would be really great. I wouldn't mind making like a tray of this every month, like one a month. What are you doing, boo? I just put some of his feather toys in the grass. Let's see if he goes after them. Oh, yep, took it right out. He's a smart cat. You're a smart boy, boo, right? Yeah, you're smart. You wanna get the other one? It is 9.54 a.m. I just gave boo his breakfast, he's in his room. I let the other cats up. I'm giving them the wheatgrass. It still has Boo's toys in it. It's really big. This wheatgrass is so tall. Just like standing in it. I put the wheatgrass here at the top of the steps because I thought Splash might enjoy it here. And yeah, he was eating the wheatgrass here. Stella was eating the wheatgrass here. I guess uh, Splash feels safer eating it here. When I walk over with the camera, he moves down a few steps. Stella, I know you don't get along very well with Boo. And I just want to let you know that you're not going to have any more kittens, okay, Stella? You're not going to have any more kittens. You had all of your kittens already. You don't have to have any more kittens. So you could be nice to Boo now, Stella. Because Boo's not going to give you any more kittens, okay? Stella. Stella, are you listening? Stella, your tail's in the food. Stella, I'm telling you that Boo is not going to give you any more kittens, okay? You're not going to have any more kittens. You were spayed. You don't remember being spayed because you were unconscious. They put you in a state of unconsciousness 
so you don't feel the pain. And then they spay you so that way you don't have any more kittens and you don't have to go through the horrible ordeal that you went through when you had these kittens. Yeah, so then when you wake up, you really don't know what happened and you don't remember because they make you unconscious. And then that's why you had the, uh, that's why all of your fur was shaved on your belly. That's why you had the scar on your belly. But now you're all healed and you're fine. And now you can be nice to Boo because Boo is not going to make you have any more kittens, right, Stella? No more kittens for you. You had enough. You said, I had enough kittens. And that was a stressful ordeal. And you don't have to have any more kittens, Stella. Boo is not going to do that to you anymore, okay? So that means you can be nice to him. You can be nice to Boo. Okay, Stella? You can be nice to Boo. You're not going to have any more kittens. But you like Splash and Simba. Ugh, her tail's all wet. I think Stella seems happy right now. I think she understands. Stella, you could be nice to Boo because you're not going to have any more kittens. No matter what, you're not having any more kittens. You're done with your kittens. You did a good job with Splash and Simba. That was a lot of work, wasn't it? That was a lot of work. Stella nursed those kittens for like six months. Now she's cleaning her tail because she realizes that it's all full of food. She needs to stop putting her tail in the food. It's 10.45 a.m. and I just came outside to give Hijack some food. Here he is, hanging out in the sun. It is really, really cold today. Right now the thermometer says it's 22 degrees. I was out earlier and it was way colder than that. It was like 12. I just gave Hydrox half a can of food and also some fresh water. Hydrox is eating his food. I'm only giving him half of a can because he has the dry food out of the automatic feeder. If he did not have that, I would give him more than half a can. But I've been seeing him eat that, so I don't want to just, you know, waste this food because I know if he doesn't eat it, all the birds are going to swoop down and eat it. It is mail time and we have a whole bunch of mail to open today. Okay, let's start small and work our way big. Now, I started opening this envelope, but then I realized that I did not have the camera on, so that's why it's already torn open. Simba's here to see what's going on. Somebody gonna help me open? Gonna help me open packages? What do we have here? Oh my gosh, look, it's a card that looks almost just like Simba. Look how cute. It's like a little, it's like a Valentine's Day cowboy hat. That's cute. I wish I had one of those for Simba. Check this out. Oh, PetSmart. Oh, that's awesome. $10 PetSmart gift card. That is so cool. From Tim, Shauna, and Tick Tick. It says, no animals were harmed in the making of this Valentine's Day card. One cat, however, was made to feel like a complete idiot. <laughs> That's so true. Saw this card and couldn't help but think of Simba. Well wishes to you and all the kitties from Tim, Shauna, and Tig Tig. Well, thank you so much, Tim, Shauna, and Tig Tig. That was very nice of you, and that's a really cute card. I'm gonna put it downstairs in Simba's room. Simba doesn't really have his own room, but the other cats, they all love uh, the main room downstairs, so I'll put this down there and, uh, Simba could think he's famous. Okay, then we have this package. Oh, this is cool. What do we have? This is an external hard drive case. I love these cases. Um, I already have one in one of my hard drives, but I do have one or two hard drives that still need cases. So thank you so much for this case. I love using these, these are great. Then there's also a packet of seeds of forget-me-not heirloom variety seeds. Oh, those will be nice. I'll plant those outside. And then here's a note. It says, Dear LF, this is for you, the cats, and your business. Hope it is not 
too cold there with all the snow. It is pretty sunny here in Northern California. Best wishes, Colleen, Felix, and Fanny. Well, thank you so much, guys. That is really nice of you to send these along. Do cats like forget-me-nots? I really don't know much about these uh, plants. I'll have to look into how to grow these. When can I plant them, does it say? It says, in early spring, sow seeds in moist, somewhat acid soil. Maintain even moisture. Fertilize every other month during the growing season. So, um, I guess I can't plant these for a few few months now. But uh, thank you so much, Colleen, Felix, and Fanny. That's awesome. This will definitely be put to use. Then we have this next envelope. I'm opening it near Simba so he could help me. He jumped down off the cat tower. What do we have, Simba? What is it? What is it, Simba? What'd you get, Simba? It says, hi, Lucky, enjoy your gift from Janet Stemper. What do we have? We have a sensor push, smart sensor, humidity, and temperature. It says it tracks temperature and humidity over time. Regularly updates your smartphone and tablets and even sends you alerts if there's a problem. Works with iOS 8 Plus, Android 5.0 Plus, and the sensor push G1 Wi-Fi gateway. Download the app to get started. I was looking for some kind of remote thermometer that I could put in Hydrox's cat shelter or like right outside of his cat shelter in the sunroom to kind of monitor uh, the temperatures there just because I'm really curious of what kind of temperatures uh, it's getting. I'm super curious about what kind of temperatures are going on inside of his cat house, but the problem is for me to get inside of his cat house, like I have to pull everything out. I have to pull the sunroom out. I have to pull the vestibules out. I have to pull the cat house out and then I got to take the roof off. So it is like a big undertaking and it's very, very disruptive. So I really don't want to do that now until the weather gets better. But in the meantime, I'm thinking what I would like to do is put this down um, kind of where I have that thermometer down there, like maybe um, tuck it as far in as I can, like to be like uh, as close to the inside of the shelter as I can make it, just so I could get uh, an estimate of what's going on there. I don't know, I just really like data like that. So thank you so much, Janet. This is awesome. Simba went back to his cat grass, so I'm just going to continue without any cats. <laughs> I think I just, I think I just slit this bag open. I'm gonna have to go grab some tape. Okay, I just taped up the bag, so that should be good. We have a bag of Blue Wilderness, high protein, grain free, Rocky Mountain recipe with trout and life source bits, uh, adult formula, no chicken or poultry byproduct meals, corn, wheat, or soy, artificial preservatives or flavor, so that's really good. They love, they do love the uh, Blue Wilderness dry food. And it has a lot of the same information as the other bag. This is high quality protein, trout, chicken meal, and fish meal. Healthy, complex carbohydrates, peas, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Antioxidant ranch fruits and vegetables, carrots, cranberries, and blueberries. So that is awesome. I love those ingredients. So let's see what they put in this trout formula. It is debone trout, chicken meal, pea protein, Tapioca starch, peas, chicken fat, preserved with mixed tocopherols, Manhattan fish meal, source of omega-3 fatty acids, pea fiber, flax seed, source of omega-6 fatty acids, natural flavor, calcium sulfate, choline chloride, DL-methionine, dehydrated alfalfa meal, potassium chloride potatoes, and then it goes into all kinds of vitamins, and um, actually sweet potatoes, carrots, and then all kinds of vitamins and minerals, and then cranberries, blueberries, barley grass, parsley, dried kelp, turmeric. I mean, these are such great ingredients. I'm so happy that companies uh, are making products like this versus a lot of the other products that we see on the market. This is Hi Lucky. The furry buddies love their kitty crack crunchies, so here are a couple different flavors to tantalize their taste buds. Bad Billy. Thank you so much, Bad Billy. They certainly love this food, and this will be great for them to be able to try different varieties of it. Um, this is really awesome. Thank you. Okay, then we have this box.
It says, hi Lucky, enjoy your gift from Janet Stemper. And Simba has decided to return. Hey Simba. We have a few things here. We have the complete first season of Alice on DVD. I love this show. I used to love the show. I haven't seen this show in so long. I can't even remember. I can't wait to watch this. If you've never seen Alice, it's the story of Mel's diner. This is Mel and uh, this is Alice, Flo and Vera and they are the waitresses in the diner and it's so funny. I think it was from the 70s or the 80s. I don't remember exactly. I remember we watched this when I was growing up. Okay, yeah, it says on this it says 1976-1977, so that would be from the 70s. It says, Alice is the story of Alice Hyatt, played by Linda Lavin, a recently widowed single mom who finds herself working as a waitress at an Arizona diner while caring for her preteen son, Tommy, played by Philip McKeon. The inimitable Vic Tabak plays Mel, the gruff owner of the diner, while Beth Howland and Polly Holiday play her co-workers, neurotic Vera, and a no-nonsense flow. This three-disc, 24-episode collection collects the entire first season of the bicentennial-era breakout hit, including the rarely seen pilot episode featuring Alfred Letter from Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, the film inspiration for Alice. Guest stars include Batman's Adam West, Victor Buono, and Dark Shadow's Laura Parker. It'll be really fun to watch this, and right now is really the perfect time of year for it since the weather is so, like, cold and horrible out. And what do we have here? It says meal prep. Mealprepsociety.com Oh, oh, I know what these are. <gasps> these are so cool. Check it out, check it out. These are glass food storage containers and they have three compartments and they have the really nice cover with like a gasket seal so um you can put stuff with liquids and it doesn't leak i love that because i'm always bringing stuff that's kind of juicy and if i don't use containers that are leak proof like this then it gets all over the place and this is what the containers look like. They have like three compartments and I think this compartment is just slightly larger than these two compartments. I am definitely going to use these uh, for my lunch every day and possibly even for my breakfast every day. I normally only eat fruit for breakfast and with something like this, I could you know, prep all the fruit the night before, I usually cut it up. Um, and a lot of times I do like to have two or three different kinds of fruit. Um, so I could put everything in here, put the lid on it, store it in the refrigerator, and uh, I don't have to worry about, you know, like the acids from the fruit uh, leaching into plastic and stuff like that. So this is great. Thank you so much for these. I am most likely even going to use one today for my lunch. I'm so psyched. Thank you. It was very nice of you to purchase these off of my Amazon wish list. Thank you so much. What is this? It's a box inside of a box. It says, hi Lucky, this is for Simba, so he has a round bed too from Kimberly and Tinkerbell. Oh my gosh, wow. Check it out guys, Simba has his own bed now also. So I could put this downstairs on the sofa between the other two round beds and then I could take that like rectangle bed and put that on the ottoman. So there will actually now be four beds downstairs. So we know what that means. It means there'll be an empty bed at all times waiting for the fourth cat to uh, learn how to play nicely with the other cats. Then they could all four of them lay in beds together. 
Thank you so much, Kimberly and Tinkerbell. All right, last box. What do we have here? Oh wow, cat food, yay. It looks like a whole case of the uh, Pride by Instinct Champs Chicken Flaked Formula. That's awesome. It says, hi Lucky, hope this is useful to you and that the worst of the cold is over. Lisa Hart. And it says, hi LF, wishing you and the cats the best in 2018, Lisa Hart. Well, thank you so much, Lisa Hart. That is so nice of you. Uh, to send over food for the cats. It is always really appreciated. It makes it so much easier for me um, than having to go out and buy some and pick it up. It's a real time saver. And of course it's a money saver also. This says, this is a set, do not separate. Oh, oh, check it out. Accurate temperature and humidity sensor. Oh, this is so cool. Here's another temperature and humidity sensor. Here's a third temperature and humidity sensor. And this is the base unit display. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Lisa. So this is the base unit and it hooks up to three of these temperature sensors. And you could put the temperature sensors anywhere you want. Like I could put one of these in Hydrox's sunroom, for example. I could put one in uh, my new greenhouse outside and I could put one in like the basement where the cats are. And then here on like the base unit, it tells you the temperature and humidity of each sensor where it's located and it also tells you the temperature and humidity where the base unit is. So I think this is like the coolest thing, again, just because I love data like this. I don't know, it's just maybe all the science classes that I took, um, but I think this is so cool. So now um, I could use this to monitor all the outside temperatures from inside. So that makes everything super convenient and I totally love this and I can't wait to start using it. Um, so thank you so much, Lisa, for this. It is awesome. Now the difference between a set like this and something like the Sensor Push is the Sensor Push has an app um, on the phone so you can monitor this from your phone. Whereas with something like this, there's no app. You can monitor it from the base unit. Um, so it is a little bit different. And I am really curious to see how the two different products compare in their features, um, in their accuracy, and also in just their um, levels of convenience. So um, this is really cool. Like with something like this, you know, since you have an app on your phone, you can honestly just be lying in bed. You could wake up in the morning and be, okay, I wonder what the temperature is like in Hydrox's sunroom and just check it on your phone. Whereas with something like this, unless you have the base unit right near you, you're not able to check the temperatures that easily, but this has like really cool features otherwise. So uh, I think they're all, they're all really awesome items and I am just gonna totally geek out with all of this data. Thanks again, guys. Guys, it's so funny. I wish you could see what's going on here. So I have Simba's new round bed in my hand and I'm taking it downstairs and he's literally like falling every step I take and he's rubbing against every corner of like every wall as I'm coming down here. And there we have it, three cat beds on the sofa. They have officially taken over yet another part of the house. I move the rectangle bed over to the ottoman. So there's that bed, there's this bed, there's this bed, and there's this bed. Four beds for three cats. But if the one cat upstairs behaves better, he could hang out here. And this is why I wanted a full tray of cat grass. Because I know how much these cats love laying on the scratch and roll, which is the fake cat grass. Look what Simba's doing to the cat grass. I put the cat grass near the back door because I know they like looking outside. 
And he's laying in the cat grass. This is awesome. I wonder if I could get larger trays. I don't really have room for larger trays. I mean, obviously I have room to put the trays somewhere dark where it can germinate, but I really don't have any place to put the larger trays like in the sun. But if I had a tray that was like maybe, let's say three times the size of that, so he could just like totally lay on the whole thing, then you don't have to be concerned about bugs or fleas or ticks or anything because the grass was grown inside. They could eat it. I have to think about that. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I'll just construct a larger tray. A large tray of cat grass. Simba, are you a happy boy? Simba, are you a happy boy? Simba, you're happy in the grass? Happy in the grass? Do you like this laying in the grass? You like laying in the grass? The only thing is, like, this grass really needs to be mowed. It's really long. Like, this grass is way longer than the lawn would be. What I could do is I could actually take some scissors and trim down this grass. And then the grass that I trim down, I can put in my dehydrator. And I can dry it up. And I can make my own wheatgrass powder from it. So instead of having to buy wheatgrass powder for the cats, I can end up making my own wheatgrass powder. So I think this growing my own wheatgrass thing is a win-win all around if I can do that. Hello. He looks so happy here and I don't want to disturb him. So I'm going to have to go out the front door instead right now. He's gonna fall asleep. Somebody's gonna take a nap here.
I just woke Simba up. I'm making a lot of noise outside, I guess. I just set up today's live stream, but look at Boo. Look how Boo is sleeping with his toy. He's sleeping with that cat charmer wrapped around him like a scarf. Look at this. He has a few toys, like that one string. There's a toy up there. That's his fish toy. But then he has that cat charmer. He's sleeping with the cat charmer. It's about 3.51 p.m. I am in my office, just about to eat my lunch. I love these containers. I have some jackfruit, apples, navel oranges, and a few maraschino cherries. Right now it is 7.18 at night. I just got home and I think these temperatures are really interesting. The green temperature, the number under the green bar, is Hydrox's little house under there. It's the outside of his house right now. So I put a sensor in the outside corner of his house, like under the sunroom above a brick, and it's 42 degrees. Now the fact that it's resting on a brick might affect the sensor, but uh, it's the best I could do right now. The 31 degrees in the blue is the new greenhouse. The 34 degrees in the orange is the side of the garage. I would think that the greenhouse would be warmer than the side of the garage, but I guess it's not. It has more humidity. The humidity is 66% versus the 42%. And then the yellow number, the 69, is this unit itself inside the house. It is 7.35 p.m. and we just ended a live stream in Boo's room. And I want to give a shout out to today's Super Chatters. Um, I want to shout out to Smarty Plum for her 10 pound donation. She was our first stream boss today. And another shout out to the Funkadelic Fan for another 10 pound donation. He says, I hate YouTube. And he was our third stream boss today. So thank you guys so much for the super chats. And then there are more shout outs on Streamlabs. I don't know the best way to display those yet. So shout out to Paul Carey for your donation of $4.72 today. And a shout out to Marilyn Young for her $10 donation, and she was our second stream boss today. So um, thanks again, guys, for watching the live streams, and thank you so much for the generous donations. It really helps to pay for cat supplies and the cost of the live stream and video editing supplies also. I really need to trim down this wheatgrass. Hey, boo. I really need to trim down this wheatgrass, but I feel like now... It's just like such a mess, like it's not easy to do that, so I might just kind of leave this as a science experiment and just see how tall can wheatgrass grow. I mean, it's really, it is so lush. It's like a grass carpet. And Simba really did a good job of squashing it. It's probably around 7.45 or 7.50 and I just gave Hydrox half a can of food and I filled up his water. I don't see him around, but I'm just giving him some food right now anyway.
brush time for Boo. Come on, Boo. Brush time? Time for brushes. He still paces back and forth when I brush him. Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Boo. Boo was up on his cat tower. I just heard him jump off. Today, they're getting their cat grass at Boo's door. And look at this. Even Stella is at Boo's door. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Look. Boo smelling... Some of the grass is sticking through the gate on Boo's side. And normally Stella won't come near this gate, but because of the cat grass, she will. And look at this. There we go, folks. All four cats. The power of cat grass to bring cats together. Check it out, guys. Look. See that toy? on Boo's side of the gate. That toy used to be in this wheatgrass. Boo got the toy out of the wheatgrass and through the gate. That's a smart cat.
Stella just walked past Boo's door. That's good. I wonder if the conversation that I had with her the other day is making a difference. Stella, come here. Come here, Stella. We're not having any more kittens. Hello, Stella. There's Boo. No more kittens, Stella. We're not having any more kittens, right? Stella's looking. Oh, here she comes. Hi, Stella. It's okay. It's okay, Stella. Hey, Simba. I just raised the bottom gate on Boo's door enough so that the wheatgrass tray fits underneath it. So half of the wheatgrass is on Boo's side and half is on Simba's side. And they're both enjoying it at the same time. Their heads were very close to each other. I mean, they enjoy eating crunchies on the party platter together, which I have not done in a few days because things have been really hectic. I've been dealing with some car problems and hopefully um, they're getting fixed today, so. Then I should have more time to spend with the cats. Boo's enjoying the cat grass. He's eating it, which is good for Boo. So, initially I was going to feed the cats right now, but I'm gonna wait a little bit and see what they do with this wheatgrass here. I'd be really curious to see if Stella comes by and eats it at the same time that Boo's eating it. If we could get Stella to eat the cat grass at the same time Boo's eating it, I mean, that's really kind of like them both eating on the same platter at the same time. That would be big. Now, Boo's never been a wheatgrass fan. Like, when I buy the wheatgrass at PetSmart, he never, ever eats it. Unless I cut it up and put it in his food. That's the only time he eats it. Like he would never graze on it like this. But Splash likes it. And I guess Boo likes it. I'm right by Boo's gate. And here's Stella. Come on, Stella, I want some wheatgrass. You could have wheatgrass. You don't want any? Come on. Yeah, you could have it. See how full it is? Boo's right here looking. Stella, would you like some? Yeah. Want me to pick you a bouquet? You want a bouquet of wheatgrass, Stella? A bouquet of cat grass? Here. Want it? Come Simba, he heard someone chewing. Here 
them splash. Boo, you want it? We'll put it back. Okay, Stella walked away. The cats are getting their breakfast. It is Nature's Writing Instincts Raw Bites with some water. And today, because it's February, they are going to eat on their Valentine's Day placemat. Simba, you're sitting on the table. Simba, don't sit on the table. We're going to eat on the table. Move over. Move over. This is actually two placemats. It's like a red satiny placemat. And then I found this one with the hearts. And I like them both, so I'm just putting the heart placemat over the other one. Plus the heart placemat is like, um, I don't know, it's like plastic. And uh, it's just much easier to clean than the other one, which is like cloth. Boo is getting his breakfast on his Valentine's Day placemats also. He's getting his Nature's Riding Instinct Raw Bites with some water. It's almost 12 noon and I just came outside to give Hydrox some food and he was sitting on this chair. This is what the food bowls look like. I am going to give him fresh water, rinse that out. I'm gonna give him half of a can of food. There is no dry food in the feeder so it looks like that has all been eaten. Hello Hydrox. Hydrox, would you like to say hello? Hydrox, would you like to say hello? Say hello. Hydrox, say hello. Hello, Hydrox. Hello, Hydrox. How are you, Hydrox? Hello. He's very uncomfortable right now. I'm probably like six feet away from him, but I am zoomed in. That's where I have the temperature sensor. I have it kind of way back in the corner of the vestibule and the door to his house, but it is on a brick. So the fact that it is on a brick might be why it's staying a little bit warmer. And there's a whole bunch of different factors that can be involved. Um, but it's just interesting to see what the temperature is there. Um, so that's where that is. And I've hung up this other temperature gauge right there, um, which is now reading new temperatures. And the temperatures on this are different than the temperatures on this. It is 7 p.m. I just got home. Hello, boo. He greeted me in the hallway with some meowing. I try to play with the cats like before dinner and they usually have like absolutely no interest. Like they usually just lay around and look at me like, why are you not feeding me dinner right now? So last night, Stella, Simba and Splash were on free roam. And tonight Boo's gonna be on free roam. So what I'm gonna do right now is give him some food Put him in his room for a couple hours and let the other cats up. They've been downstairs sleeping in their beds. And then hopefully do some integration tonight. I hope I have time to do that because 
editing these videos has been chewing up a lot of time in the evenings lately, so um, I'll see how that goes. And then Boo will be let back out so he could be on free roam all night. This morning, Stella jumped on the bed for about a half hour of pets. He loves feathers. Boo loves feathers. Right, Bo? Cats are always so cute when they're playing, but it's always like the worst time to pet them because they're usually in like hunter mode and a lot of times they get they get mad when you pet them when they're playing. Okay. My hands are cold. It's really cold and rainy out. Let's go. The cats are getting their dinner. It is the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets and the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites. And there's their dinner on their Valentine's Day placemats. Hello, Spashy. Did you have a nice day? Did you sleep? Sleep good? Hello, Stella. Right now it's 7.15 p.m. and uh, there's a live chat going on. Today's live chat was downstairs with the cat beds and Simba has decided he wants to lay in the cat grass. I just fed them dinner, but Simba would rather lay in the cat grass than eat. Stella just ate some dinner and now she's hanging out near Simba. It is 7.30 p.m. Today's live stream just ended and I want to give a shout out to Skylar Arthur for the $10 super chat. Uh, that is really appreciated. And I also want to give a shout out to Paul Carey for a $20 donation today. Thank you so much, Paul. That's really appreciated and it's very nice of you. It is 12.20 a.m. Hello, and I just came downstairs to give the cats some crunchies before I go to bed because I just got done with everything that I needed to get done tonight. Well, not everything, but as much as I'm going to do. And it's 12.20 a.m. and I'm too tired to uh, work on any integration or getting the cats all together and dealing with any kind of potential drama. Right, Simba? So I'm going to give the cats some crunchies and they'll be down here tonight. Boo will be on free roam and uh, everything will be good. Hello, Splashy. You're a nice boy. You're a nice boy, Splashy. Now, anybody that knows Splashy knows that Splash would never hurt a fly except for a mouse. We all saw that video where he uh, killed and ate the mouse, but that's what cats do. But as far as like other cats, Splash is like the most gentle cat you'll ever meet, ever. Right, Splashy? You're such a good boy. Splash just wants to be friends with Boo. Right, Splash? I hope Boo will be friends with you also. That's it. And what do we have here? 
Hello, Fluffy Stella. Hello, Stella. You're a nice girl, Stella. Be nice to Boo, okay? Because he's not going to give you any more kittens. No more kittens for you, Stella. You don't have to worry. Even though you like your kittens that you have. You love your kittens, right, Stella? You love Simba and Splash. They're your babies. Okay. Who wants crunchies? Does anybody want crunchies? I gave Stella some crunchies on the platter. I gave Splash some crunchies on the floor. But Simba tries to steal them, so I put a little extra crunchies down. Splash and Simba are upstairs, and there's Hydrox. Hello, Hydrox. Hello, Hydrox. You a good boy? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? It is 10.30 a.m. I've been up for a while. Boo's been up for a while. He was on free roam last night. He spent most of the night in the cat tower in the window because he loves looking out the windows. I played with him for a while last night and this morning he got a lot of pets. Okay, so somehow I forgot to defrost raw food last night, most likely because I was working on some other projects that needed to get done. So today they are getting this Champ's Chicken Formula. This is the Instinct Pride food. That's what they're getting today. And uh, Boo's really looking forward to it. Are you hungry, Boo? Are you hungry, Boo? Boo, you want some breakfast? Boo prefers canned food to the raw food. Probably because he had a lot of canned food when he was living outside. So this is Boo's breakfast. He's getting canned food with some water and his herbs. 
He's all excited. He's rubbing up on his arches. Are you going to eat your food, boo? I gave you your food. Look at that. He knocked that arch right off the platform. And look at that. He's eating his food right away. Normally, when I give him the raw food, he kind of turns his nose up at it and walks out of the room. And I have to bribe him back with a few crunchies. But look, he's just devouring the canned food. I gave Simba the wheatgrass by the door. I figured they could dine al fresco. It's windy out. They probably see things blowing around. The wheatgrass definitely looks like it could use some watering. Tomorrow will be two weeks from when it was originally planted. And it was not mowed at all. Or cut down. Which it probably should be. And on the next try, I am going to keep it better trimmed. But right now, this is just an experimental first tray. Just to see what it does on its own. The downstairs cats are getting the same thing as Boo the Instinct Pride Champ's Chicken Formula. I'm giving them a can and a half, so that's half of a can each, and I hope they eat it because they're not really fans of canned food. Hello, Splashy. Eat your food. Stella seems to be enjoying it. So Splash and Stella are eating their food, and Simba has no interest. He'd rather like look out the window. In a matter of minutes, Boo finished all of his food, like all of it. Normally when I give him raw food, he doesn't eat it at first, and then he comes back and he eats like half of it. Then he comes back and he eats the other half of it. So I guess he's not a fan of the raw food, um, but he loves canned food, loves it. He's a very happy boy. It looks like he ate his food and then just went straight up to his cat tower to relax. Boo! How you doing, Boo? You like your food? You like the canned food? Okay, I know you like the canned food, but I like the raw food because I know it's better for you, Boo. Yeah, I know it's better for you. You could have canned food as a treat. Or when I forget to defrost the raw food, okay? You know, Boo, I think sometimes you distract me on purpose from defrosting the raw food so you could get the canned food. Is that right, Boo? Boo, do you distract me on purpose so you could get canned food? I just stepped outside for a second and Hydrox is laying right next to the house, right next to the window on top of the cat tower. So what I want to do is walk downstairs and see if anyone's on top of the cat tower. If it's anyone, it would be Stella. So let's go down and see. Stella's laying in the rectangle cat bed. Splash and Simba 
are upstairs. And there's Hydrox. Hello, Hydrox. Hello, Hydrox. You a good boy? How are you? Being a good boy, Hydrox? I'll bring you out some food, okay? I'll give you some food. Look, they actually ate a lot of their food. I would say they ate two-thirds of their food. Maybe one of them didn't eat yet. Like, maybe Simba did not come down to eat yet. So, according to the thermometers, it's about 30 degrees out. The temperature in the upper right-hand corner is the sensor on the side of the garage. It says 31. So that would be, like, ambient air temperature. The green temperature on the bottom left would be near Hydrox's shelter, which says 39. So his shelter has consistently been having warmer temperatures than the top right corner. Now when I say his shelter, I don't mean inside his shelter because I can't get inside his shelter to put the sensor inside of it. I have the sensor just kind of near a corner, near a door to his shelter, kind of like tucked back um, as close as I can to one of the doors. So it's not going to be 100% accurate, but I know if that's reading 39 outside the shelter, Inside of the shelter, I'm sure it's warmer than that. Then the 40 in the upper left is inside the greenhouse. And the 68 on the bottom is inside the house. And there's Hydrox, he's eating his food. I did need to go out and move the garbage cans, but I'll wait until he's done. Because I know if I go out now, he'll run. 7 p.m., I just got home. Hello, Boo. How are you? Did you have a nice day? When I was driving home, I passed a bank that displays the weather and the weather said 19 degrees. That was quite a few miles away from here. Right now, according to these thermometers, the greenhouse is 23 degrees, the side of the garage is 24 degrees, and Hydrox's house, like right outside his house, is 32 degrees. So if that's the case, it's nice to know that like right outside his house, under my house, is quite a bit warmer than the outside temperature. Like if it's 19 degrees out or even 24 degrees out, at least 32 is quite a bit warmer than 19 or 24. This is what the cat grass looks like right now. I did add some water to it. I've been hitting it with like a spray bottle of water, but today I took like a small pitcher and I actually poured water into it because it is so thick that there's no way a spray bottle is gonna do anything. Like it's not gonna get down to the roots at all. So um, I just put it out for the cats if they want to have a little appetizer. And Simma just wants to sit on it. I think if I put this on the rug in the living room, they would just sit on it also. They think it's a scratch and roll, just a flat scratch and roll with nothing to scratch. And Boo's toy's still in it. It looks like Stella and Splash have just been sleeping in their beds downstairs all day. When I left this morning, or when I left early this afternoon, both uh, Stella and Splash were laying in their beds down here. They love those beds so much that even when they're on free roam, they just lay in their beds. They love their beds. Right, Splash? Ooh, I think Splash is purring. Splash, ready to eat? Want some food? Stella, you ready to eat? Kiss the camera. Kiss the camera. Stella, kiss the camera. Kiss the camera. No? I just came outside to give Hydrox a full can of food and also some fresh water. The cats are getting their typical dinner, which is the primal raw turkey nuggets and the nature's variety instinct raw chicken bites. And I've just been calling for Simba, who is making his way down the steps right now so I could feed them. There's Splash, there's Simba. And here's Stella. They should eat that because they had the canned food for breakfast. One meal of canned food and uh, Stella just made like the stinkiest poop. Maybe that's why they were sleeping all day. Uh-oh, Splash is going upstairs. I want to take Boo out. Why is he going up? Right now it is 7.36 p.m. and we just ended a live stream on YouTube and today it was also simultaneously broadcast on Twitch. The Lucky Ferals now have a Twitch channel. And I want to give a shout out to Smarty Plum 
and Skylar Arthur for their generous super chat donations today. Uh, Skylar Arthur is currently the stream boss on the YouTube live stream, and um, Smarty Plum was the stream boss uh, earlier today. So thank you guys so much for those donations. They are definitely appreciated, and they will go to buy a few bags of the raw food for the cats. It is 10.51 p.m. We just predicted some Super Bowl winners, and I put Boo's harness on him because he hasn't had it on in quite a few days. I don't know how long it's been. And um, maybe I'll let the cats up, or maybe I'll just let him hang out in his harness. We'll see. I put the video on YouTube where all four of these cats are eating dinner together on the party platter. I put it on the TV because I figure maybe it'll jog some memories. Boo's watching it right now. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 12.30 a.m. Boo's been hanging out in his harness for quite a while now. And I think he really likes it. I mean, he's walking around normal in it. He's not doing that little combat crawl anymore. He's jumping up and down from cat towers in it. He seems to like it. Okay, Bo. It's 12.39 a.m. And Boo is in his harness. He's also on his leash, and he's been walking on his leash, which has been really good. And Simba just came upstairs, splashes in the hallway. Like, I literally just opened the door to the downstairs, and the cats just come running up. So, um, Splash is sitting in the hallway. And I'm very happy that Boo did not jump on Simba right now. Um, I don't know if that behavior would be the same if it wasn't in a harness and a leash. Um, but all we need is Stella to come upstairs, and now everyone will be upstairs. Okay, I am going to start putting Crunchies in their party platter. Okay, Crunchies are in the party platter, and everyone's behaving so far. I think Boo might like his harness because now he's associating his harness with Crunchies. It looks like Simba doesn't want to share a party platter with Boo. Even though they should all be really hungry right now because they ate their dinner around 7 o'clock. They ate their dinner like almost six hours ago. And they have not had any crunchies or anything since then. It looks like Stella's upstairs because Splash keeps looking down the hallway. So Stella might be like near the kitchen. Nope, here comes Stella. Stella's coming in from the dining room. It's like a play-by-play -play action going on right now. Stella is sitting near the front door. She's looking. She's like, why is that cat here? She has a concerned appearance on her face. She's not very happy right now. So Splash is watching from like let's say the right and uh, Simba and Stella is watching from about eight feet behind Simba. Okay, you want some more? I threw some crunchies to Stella, to Simba, and to Splash. Simba's a brave cat. Okay, so since Boo was hogging up the party platter, I took out the little football platter and I put some treats on there and Boo just jumped on that.
Splash just walked through the room and now he's sitting by Stella. The two of them are near the front door. Simma just walked away. He's actually walking into Boo's room. And I think Splash is going around the hallway to meet up with Simba in Boo's room. And Boo doesn't care while he's eating crunchies. Yep, there goes Splash. Splash is going into Boo's room with Simba. So now it's just Stella by the front door watching Boo. Boo is still eating his crunchies. None of the other cats want to eat crunchies with him. I gave Splash some crunchies in the hall. I'm just kind of tossing them to him. And Simba is still in Boo's room. I don't know what he's doing in there. Simba's just laying here watching Boo right now. I had thrown some crunchies to Simba, but he didn't eat them. So Boo's walking over there and eating them now. Okay, Boo, you had enough? Well, at least tonight, I have not heard any growling out of anybody. Like, no growling, no strange noises at all. Splash just went back in Boo's room, and Simba is just about to go back in Boo's room. Stella just came out to play with the undercover mouse. It's 1.04 a.m. Splash is about six feet behind Stella. He's looking from a distance. Stella, no more kittens, remember? Stella, you can't have any more kittens. No more kittens, right? No more kittens, Stella. You're not gonna have any more kittens, so you don't have to worry about Boo. Okay? Well, that didn't work, Boo. She's being mean. Hey! Hey! So we're all sitting here playing with these wand toys and Boo is sitting on the scratch and roll with his back to Stella. Stella is sitting on the undercover mouse. She's been playing from here which is a few feet away from Boo. And check that out, Simba was on the cat tower and he just, he just jumped off the cat tower and he, hey! Uh-oh, Simba's growling for the first time tonight. Well, that was good. That was really good, actually. Cause what I was saying was Simba jumped off the cat tower and he landed like right in front of Boo and then Right now, I mean, kind of look like Boo wanted to play, but Boo's in like a weird crouchy position right now. Okay, maybe he's going back to normal.
So Boo and Simba have been having like a little stare down here. Simba's under the cat towers, Boo's on the scratch and roll. And Stella is watching Boo like a hawk. She's like, if you even make one move on my son, I'm coming after you. Boo looks like he's getting ready to jump. Look at this. He's on the leash though. He's not going anywhere. Oh, I guess he's trying to go around from a different angle. Okay, Stella's growling right now. Stella's hissing. Stella, can you be nice to Boo, please? Can you please be nice to him? I explained to you that you're not going to have any more kittens, okay? You don't have to worry about him giving you any more kittens. You can be nice to him, Stella. You don't have to hit him, okay? You don't have to hit him. You can just yell at him. You could be nice to him. I know you're warning him. You're warning him not to mess with Simba, right? You're saying, don't attack my son. Boo. Stella's telling you not to attack Simba, okay? She's, she's protecting her son. She's saying, if you go near him, if you hurt him, she's going to mess you up. Got it? Boo Splash is afraid of you after you, the fight you guys had the other day. I put the video on YouTube where all four of these cats are eating dinner together on the party platter. I put it on the TV because I figure maybe it'll jog some memories. Boo's watching it right now. Boo, that's you. That's you, Stella, Splash, and Simba. I just gave Stella some crunchies downstairs because she really didn't have any. There's some crunchies in the digger and Splash has some crunchies. 7.54 a.m. Stella and Simba are looking out the windows from the cat towers. Stella was just on the bed to catch some pets. 8.15 a.m. Now it's Stella and Splash in the cat trees. Good morning, Stella. Eight fifty four AM. Now it's Simba and Splash laying in the cat towers. This is what happens when the automatic feeder feeds the cats at seven AM. They eat their breakfast and then they're content all morning. Boo is also in his cat tower, but it looks like he did not eat his breakfast. It's still in his feeder. Stella was hanging out in the kitchen, and I couldn't understand why. I was like, they had their food, and then I remembered the cat grass, and this was on top of the shelf by the window. So I just took this down, and now she's happy. It looks like it's doing a little bit better since I gave it some water yesterday. How you doing, Stella? Boo's toy is still in it. Maybe I'll give it more water today. Oh, hello, Daddy. Do you want pets or no? No pets? No pets? You don't want pets? Okay. What's the matter, Stella? Hello. Hello. I'm going to leave this right here for you, okay? I'm going to leave that right there for you. So you can hang out with that, okay? I'm going to be away for the next day and a half, so I decided to check the automatic feeder. Make sure there was food in it. 
and it's empty. So I am going to refill it with dry food. And I want to thank everyone who's been sending in dry food for Hydrox and for this feeder. It is very much appreciated. I'm opening to the bags that were sent in to fill this up. Here's the feeder, all full. I'm gonna put the covers back on and then Hydrox is good to go. I just gave Hydrox a full can of food and some fresh water. He should be good with that, as well as the dry food and the automatic feeder for um, the rest of today and all of tomorrow. Okay, I'm setting Boo up with his food also. He's getting his raw dinner and the freeze-dried raw and also some crunchies. I might give Boo crunchies um, for all of his meals tomorrow just because he loves crunchies so much. This was the cat's breakfast. As you can see, they ate one fully. They ate like half of the one on the right and the middle one was barely touched. So the, this food's gonna sit here today. They could finish the rest of it. I am going to put uh, more raw food in these feeders for their dinner and then their breakfast tomorrow. And then for dinner tomorrow, they're getting dry food with the raw bites. I just put some crunchies on top of Boo's breakfast in the feeder. So hopefully he should eat it. Hello, Boo. Boo is just playing with his toy. Then I walk in and he sees the camera and then he stops. Hello, Boo. Slow down, slow, slow. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Right now it's about 12.10 a.m. I just got home and I'm in the middle of unpacking, bringing all my stuff in and I saw Hydrox come out of his shelter. So that means I am going to give him some food. This is what his bowls look like. It looks like all of the water has evaporated from the water bowl. I wish the water bowls were bigger and um, all the food's gone also. So I'm going to fill up both. I just gave Hydrox a full can of cat food and fresh water and everything is really wet right now because it's been raining, but at least it's warm enough for rain and not snow. So that is a really good thing. Okay, let's see what the cats did to their food. It looks like they ate all of their dinner, like there's nothing left. So in this feeder, they ate all their dinner, their breakfast, their dinner yesterday, and this is their breakfast trip for tomorrow. And in this feeder, it's the same thing. They ate all their dinner, their breakfast, yesterday's dinner, and there's their breakfast trip tomorrow. Look, three clean feeders. That's awesome. So these three automatic feeders worked really, really well. And I think one of the main reasons why um, they ate all their food and the only food left in all the feeders is breakfast is because I did not give them any additional crunchies. I figured I was only going to be gone for maybe around 48 hours, not even, and uh, they would just be fine with the food that was in the feeder and it looked like that worked out well. Hello Stella. Hello little girly. Now we have to remember Stella can get cranky when she's hungry. She's had less food than they normally have. Tonight we are celebrating with meaty sticks because the cats correctly predicted the Super Bowl winner. They picked the Eagles and the Eagles won. So uh, the cats are getting some meaty sticks. They haven't had meaty sticks in a while. And I'm going to give them each one meaty stick. And I am going to give them each one tablespoon of crunchies. And then I am going to bed because it's late and I'm tired. Slow, Stella. Slow. Good girl. 
Good girl. Why are you hitting my hand? Oh, why are you hitting my hand? Why are you being nasty, Stella? Slow. As I'm giving this media stick to Simba, I'm realizing that I should be giving Splash the media stick instead. That way, if Simba steals it, then it's Simba's meaty stick and Splash still gets another meaty stick. So Splash is kind of sitting around two feet away waiting for his meaty stick. Okay, there you go, Simba. Splash, you're next. I gave Splash his meaty stick. I'm not holding it for him because it's going to take too long to do that. Who's upstairs making a racket in his room? Which is why Splash keeps stopping what he's doing and looking up. Good boy, Splash. You ate your meaty stick. Good boy, Splash. So the cats are getting some crunchies on the Super Bowl platter because they did a really good job of selecting the winner. I just gave Splash some crunchies on the floor. I just gave Boo a tablespoon of crunchies. He already ate it. I'm about to give him a meaty stick. Yo, yo Boo, calm down. Slow down, slow, slow. This might be the first time that he's actually eating a meaty stick while I'm holding it. Oh my god. But you know, he has really big teeth. And did you see how aggressively he was like eating that? I don't need him to bite my finger. Especially after last time when Stella thought my finger was a meaty stick. Okay, Bo, that's it. That's it, Bo. Let's see what Boo did to his food. All right, so this was Boo's dinner, which he ate it all. I just put those new crunchies in there. That was Boo's breakfast. He ate it all. These are all crunchies. That was last night's dinner. It looks like he didn't even touch it. That was last night's breakfast, which he ate most of, probably because I put crunchies on it. He still has tomorrow's breakfast, so. Boo has to learn how to eat out of these feeders better. Splash loves it when you pet him like right here, like between his shoulder blades. He loves that. Right, Splash? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 9.55 a.m. Good morning, Stella. How are you today? The cats got fed their breakfast in their automatic feeders today. They had dry food, their crunchies. And they also had the Nature's Variety freeze-dried raw bites. So they're usually pretty happy when they get fed from the feeder. Because they got fed around 7 a.m. Oh, no belly rub? No belly rub? Good morning, boo. Now for the past two days, Boo was on constant free roam. And uh, last night I put him in his room so the other cats could come upstairs. The other cats were downstairs for the past two days. So um, today Boo will come out of his room for a while and then he'll go back in his room when I have to leave. And um, then they'll both have like equal time. I just put the tray of wheatgrass 
on the bottom of Boo's gate, and I had to adjust the gates for it to fit there. Um, and I had to be careful because, you know, Boo's a bit of an escape artist, and if that bottom gate is too high, he'll easily get under it. And I'm putting this here so I can go um, like take a shower and get dressed and stuff. It gives him something to do. So Boo and Simba are digging in. Splash is watching from the end of the hallway. Stella was here smelling around, but um, then she left. And I'm going to go see if I can pick her up and bring her back. Okay, no luck with Stella. I picked her up and I put her down here and then she ran away. So maybe she'll come back and hang out. Simba's hanging out. It's equally on both sides of the gate. And the gate is um, pretty firm on it. Simba's making himself comfortable. See, it could be that Boo was trying to play there. He didn't look aggressive. Now, if I go to take a shower and then somebody pulls this wheatgrass, like, into his room or into the hallway, it's going to be pretty crazy. Maybe I'll put some toys in the wheatgrass and see what they do with the toys. But if I did, then I can only put them on this side of the gate in the hall. I don't think that's really fair. I'd have to set that up ahead of time. I am officially going to get my day started, so let's see what the cats do while I do that. I don't know what just happened, but I was in the bathroom and I heard like a cat scream. And then I just came out and splashes in the hallway and Simba was like backing away from the hallway. So I don't know if Boo was trying to play and they misinterpreted it or, or what. So hopefully something was caught on the camera so we could see what happened. And I, I'm pretty sure the gate's in there securely so that even if they try to move the tray of grass, the gate's not going to come down with it. If anything, I think it would keep the tray from moving. It's 12.22 p.m. Here's Hydrox hanging out in the sun by the house. Looks pretty comfortable. I just gave him half a can of food and some fresh water. Right now it's about 8 p.m. I'm just getting home and I am going to feed the cats. I'm surprised that they're not more hungry than they are considering they only had some dry food earlier today and then some of the uh, freeze dried raw. Hey Splash.
I just washed my hands when I got home. They might smell the frankincense and myrrh. Splash loves it when you pet him, like right here, like between his shoulder blades. He loves that. Right, Splash? He also loves it when you scratch his head. Okay, let's see what he does. Is he going to come up to my hand? Is he going to come up to me to get more pets or no? He hears Boo upstairs. Boo's waiting to eat. Splash, you want some pets? Some pets? Yes? No? <laughs> He's like, yeah, okay, pet me. I like to give all of the cats a spinal massage at least once a day. It's good for their lymphatic system because there are neurolymphatic points up and down the spine. Stella says, it's my turn. I'm petting them now because I'm really tired. And um, I'm going to feed them and then feed Boo and then relax and edit tonight's video and then call it a night. I've had a lot of very late nights recently and it would be nice to go to bed somewhat early. Okay, Stella. Tonight they're getting their inches variety instincts raw chicken bites. I am all out of the primal raw nugget, so this is what they're getting. They're getting additional water with that. Right now it is 8.15 p.m. and I just ended today's live stream and I want to give a shout out for today's super chats. Um, I want to give a shout out to Tracy Yoshida for your $10 super chat donation. That was really nice of you. And also to Kim B for your $20 super chat donation. It says, hope Simba enjoys the new bed. And uh, all of the cats have been enjoying the new bed. So thank you so much, Kim B, for sending the new round bed for the cats. And also for today's super chat donation. That was really nice. And um, yeah, it really helps to uh, buy uh, new food for the cats. So like today's Super Chats will buy the cats one of the large 3.5 pound bags of raw food, uh, which is great. So thank you guys so much. Hydrox and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Stella. Where's Simba?
I just put the cat grass in Boo's door, put it under the gate. None of the cats have any interest in it, which is weird. They usually love their cat grass. And now Splash is peeking around the corner. Splash looks like he might be interested. Look at this. They've moved their arch over toward their platters. And they've been playing with the strawberry. They put a strawberry on their platter. Are they trying to tell me something? Do you guys want more freeze-dried strawberries in your food? 10.20 a.m. I just walked down the hall and found Stella relaxing near Boo's door. The only reason she moved is because I took the camera out and I'm filming it right now. If I was not standing here filming it, she'd still be laying there. That is so huge for Stella to be laying by Boo's door and relaxing there. That's big. And it's all because of the cat grass. If the cat grass was not there, I don't think Stella would be doing that. Hello, Stella. Do you like the cat grass? Do you like Boo? Do you like Boo? Blink if you like Boo, Stella. Blink if you like the cat grass. Do you like the cat grass? It's yummy? Yeah? You like the cat grass so much you don't even mind being by Boo's door, right? You like Boo too, right? Stella, I know you like Boo. I know you secretly like Boo. You're just giving him some warnings that you don't want to have any more kittens, right? You're a little mad at him for abandoning you when you were outside, right? He chose a life in the woods instead of a life in the backyard. Remember that? Stella, remember when you and the kittens moved into the backyard? Boo did not move into the backyard with you, and I know that's why you're mad at him. That's right, Stella. He chose a life in the woods instead of a life with you guys in the backyard. Remember, sometimes he would visit you, Stella. Sometimes he'd come by for meals, and sometimes he'd come by to play with the kittens. Remember that? Also remember that he was always helping you raise the kittens when you had your little kitten nest outside. He was always in there with you, Stella. He really helps you raise those kittens. Remember that. So you need to be nice to him because he helped you a lot with those kittens and he protected them also. Right, Stella? So just because he didn't move on to the patio at the same time you did, you can't hold a grudge against him. He eventually moved on to the patio. He moved on to the patio six months after you did, Stella. And then he moved inside. See? Boo's trying to be with you. He's trying to be nice to you and the cats. Yeah, so you got to start being nice to him too, Stella. He's manning up. He's manning up and he's accepting his responsibilities as a father cat. And you need to be nice. Cut him a break. Right? You're going to cut him a break? Simma and Splash are in the cat towers by the window. I am super zoomed in, so if it looks super shaky, that's why. It's about 11 a.m. and I just put the undercover mouse toy in Boo's door instead of the wheatgrass. I just want to see what they would do. Will Stella join in and play here? Simba is the first one. I'm just about to set up today's live stream and today the cats will be downstairs so Boo will be on free roam. And Stella was down here and Splash was down here. So I got the container of crunchies and I gave Stella a tablespoon of crunchies on the platter. And all I could hear from upstairs is Simba jump off the cat tower and go running full speed through the house, down the steps and down to the crunchies. It was so funny. It's about 1.30 p.m. I just gave Hydrox some canned food and I also gave him some fresh water. And there's Hydrox hanging out by the driveway. He must have just heard me giving him food. I'm sure once I go inside, he'll come and eat. It is 9.51 p.m. and I forgot to defrost raw food for the cat's dinner. So they're getting canned food. This is the Pride by Instinct Champs chicken formula. Boo's already waiting for it. Boo, you like your canned food? Are you hungry? Would you like to eat Boo? Boo, say yes. Say yes, I want to eat. Boo's getting half of a can of food and he's getting some water in his food. 
he was so eager to eat that food. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he just like head butted my hand out of the way. Let's see who's ready to come upstairs. Hey Stella. Hello Stella, hello Simba. Stella and Simba were downstairs doing a live stream today. All three cats are waiting for their dinner. Last time I gave them a can and a half of the wet food and they only ate like a can of it. So today they're just gonna get a can, just one can. Simba and Stella are eating their food, but Splash has been making me pet him. Splash just got a lot of pets. He wants me to pet him some more, right Splash? Hello, Simba. Splash is just about out of my reach. Simba's hanging out by the cat at circuit. And there's a live stream going on of the cat beds right now as we speak. It is 8.39 p.m. and Stella is sleeping in the rectangle cat bed. We have just finished a live stream down here and I want to thank everyone uh, for the super chats today by giving them a shout out. So thank you to EJ Giggy for your $25 donation. That is really nice of you and definitely appreciated. Thank you Cat Lover for your $5 donation. It says little gift for Lucky Ferals. Thank you, Lisa M., for the $20 donation. Thanks for live streaming. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting the channel. Thanks again, Cat Lover, for the other $5 donation. And thank you, Zoa Langford, for the $2 donation and the $20 donation. Uh, she says, hope this will help, and it will definitely help um, all these donations go into a special bank account for the cats um, and it pays for their cat litter and their cat food and any cat supplies that are needed and it also goes into an emergency vet fund in case um, they need to go to the vet for some reason so thank you guys again tonight i am replacing all of the litter and the litter boxes normally i do this once a month i try to do it the first weekend of the month which would have been this past weekend, but because I was away, I didn't have a chance to do it, so I'm doing it now. And I'm using this Dr. Elsie's Health Monitor Everyday Litter. This is the litter that I got on sale at PetSmart. It was like $8 a box, so it was pretty much half price. It says it comes with a free digital luggage cat scale enclosed, so I thought that was really cool. Now, um, the box says that it monitors kidney function, diabetes, and hyperthyroidism. The only way that it does that is because it says it is consistent particle size, scoopable litter. So they're saying if you monitor the weight of the litter that you're scooping out, if you see a big increase in it, it could be indicative of some kind of health problem. Now, I didn't buy it for that reason. I bought it just because it was on sale and it was a good deal. And check this out. This is the portable electronic scale that came in the box. It was like getting a prize in a cereal box, but instead it was getting a prize in a box of cat litter. And uh, it's pretty cool. It looks like your standard luggage scale, which is pretty cool. And this is what it looks like. And now that I actually look at it, for me, it would be pretty useless for weighing luggage because it has this little tiny hook on the bottom. I mean, unless the hook was somehow replaced uh, because I don't have any luggage handles uh, or anything that would fit in that hook. But it's cool, you know, it's nice to get a free prize in a box of litter. I just gave the cats downstairs some crunchies. I'm going to give Boo some crunchies too, but first we're going to play, right Boo?
It is 12.10 a.m. And I'm here at Pooh's door and uh, raised the bottom gate. And I've been playing with this cat charmer toy. And Simba and Splash have been here playing with it also on this side of the gate with Boo on the other side of the gate. Let's see, Simba's back. Simba and Boo got in a little swatty fight under the gate and then um, Simba like hissed and he got mad but I think Boo was just playing Boo was like you know trying to grab his paws from under the gate okay someone is holding this right now are they both holding it I can't tell hello Simba what happened? What happened? Boo's holding it. Okay, I'll leave them with this toy for now. Okay, I have a party platter and I have some crunchies in each compartment and I am going to put it under Boo's gate and let's see who eats from it. I think Simba will eat from it. There's Simba, and there's Stella. And there goes Simba. Stella, don't you want crunchies? Eat your crunchies. Stella doesn't want to eat crunchies with Boo. Poor Boo, nobody wants to eat crunchies with him. But Boo says that's okay because that's more crunchies for me. Stella's watching from her house. Alright, Boo has decided that he wants to come down the steps. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 9-11 a.m. Good morning, Stella. Stella jumped on my bed this morning to get her pets and woke me up. It ends up that I set my alarm wrong. I set it for p.m. instead of a.m., so it's a good thing. Stella woke me up. Splash and Simba are on top of the cat towers and it's snowing. Last night we played with toys under Boo's gate and we had crunchies under Boo's gate. And I'm wondering what would happen today if I put some crunchies in the party platter. Would Stella eat them? Is she hungry enough?
Stella's growling. I think if she spends enough time here by Boo's Gate, like she'll get over that the same way Simba and Splash got over that. Look at this, look, she's laying down. I mean, that's a good sign, even though she's growling. Stella. Hello, Stella. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? So all three cats are playing with the same toy right now, although, you know, Stella really doesn't have it. Here comes Splash. He just jumped down from the cat tower. Look, Stella in blue with the same toy. I think Stella and Boo need a matchmaker. We need a cat matchmaker. There's another teaser wand in this house. I have to find it. I think it's downstairs. Simba has it wrapped around his paw. Simba, unwrap your paw. Splash. Here we go. All four cats. And Stella decides she had enough. I put the wheatgrass in Boo's door, but I put it like long ways through the door. See that? So it's sticking out farther on each side. It's still one tray of wheatgrass. And did you see? Boo was on one side, Stella was on the other. Even if only for a few seconds. But that was good. And now Simba has decided he wants to crawl on top of the wheatgrass. Who's just looking at Simba like, what are you doing? Splash is watching. Okay, I'll leave them here like this with the wheatgrass. Somebody knocked over the camera. 
They wanted to destroy the evidence of what was going on. Okay, I just realized something. So here's the grass on this side. And look at what's on Boo's side. That whole cat charmer toy. That entire cat charmer toy made its way into Boo's side of the gate. Boo's a smart boy. Here's Stella. Hello, Stella. Want some crunchies? I know you want crunchies and Boo wants crunchies too. And it seems that I can't pull the grass back out because of the way that it's growing. So originally I wanted to pull the grass out, but see what's happening. Yeah, it's just going to be a mess. So I'm going to leave that in there until I take the gate out. Meanwhile, there is a tray here for crunchies. Boo's ready. Stella, you ready? That was so close. Stella, eat your crunchies. That's the closest we've been so far. Stella, eat your crunchies. That's all the crunchies they're getting for today's experiment. I'm not filling them up with crunchies so they ruin their breakfast. The crunchies that they're eating right now are the Nature's Variety Instinct Dry Food for Cats. It's the original formula. Sometimes they get these and sometimes they get the Blue Wilderness Crunchies. Good morning, Boo. How are you, Boo? Are you hungry today? Here's the other cat charmer toy. It was in Boo's room by his cat tower. It's about 12 noon right now. Hijax just got half a can of food and fresh water. It is 8.22 p.m. and today's live stream just ended. And I want to give a shout out to Paul Carey for his $50 donation. Thank you so much, Paul. That is so awesome of you uh, to make that contribution to the channel. It definitely helps pay for cat supplies and it is very much appreciated. Here's Boo. He's been hunting crunchies under the cat towers. Hey Boo. He didn't really want to spend any time up in the cat towers which is weird because usually that's where he hangs out. But I guess today he's hungry. Boo, you want to eat some dinner? Boo, are you hungry? Want to eat some dinner? Right now it is 10.51 p.m. And I have Boo on his harness and his leash. And we're doing some crunchies near the stairs. This is new territory for Boo. I've tried to bring Boo downstairs a few times. And he gets freaked out and he just runs all the way back up the steps. So I'm thinking maybe if we could do some crunchies on the landing and then he could get accustomed to new territory. I don't want to let him just totally loose down there because I don't know what's going to happen between him and the other cats. So that's why I have him on the harness and the leash right now. Right now they're just looking at him like, what are you doing here? I put some crunchies on the steps for the other cats. And then I put some crunchies up here for Boo. And they don't seem interested in the crunchies. They'd rather just kind of go back downstairs and be away from Boo. So I've moved myself and the container of crunchies down a few steps. And there's Boo. 
he doesn't really want to go down more than like one step. Then he runs back upstairs. I mean, that's understandable. He thinks the other cats are probably maybe going gang up on him or something. Right now they're pretty much just looking up at him in disbelief. Boo just came down a few steps to be near the crunchies. I've been collecting them off of the steps and giving them to him that way. I mean, right now I'm cool with this, with Boo just coming down a few steps. I mean, I think that's pretty good progress for Boo. When Simba and Splash first came inside, like the first times they ventured inside, they didn't get any farther than where Boo is now. And there was quite a few times where they only got as far as like the first few steps, so. I think that's good for Boo. Although I would like to just pick him up and bring him downstairs and see what happens. Stella's watching from the bottom of the steps. Simba's watching. Splash is watching. The only thing Boo is interested in is this container of crunchies. Want some crunchies, Boo? Okay, I moved the container of crunchies down a few more steps. This way, Boo can kind of see downstairs and, you know, kind of smell what's going on a little bit. He's only down like three or four steps. He probably feels like he's ganged up on because they're all kind of like in a circle looking at him. There's three cats in a circle. We're surrounded, Boo. Boo, we're surrounded by cats. Okay, right now Boo's down about six steps. We're a little past halfway down the stairs. I tried carrying him down all the way, but he wasn't too happy about that. So right now he's halfway. And there's Stella and Splash. I threw some crunchies at them down there. So they're eating some crunchies. He kind of looks like he wants to go all the way downstairs. Stella's not happy about it. Stella's like giving him dirty look. So I think he's thinking second thoughts about going down. So right now Boo's eating crunchies on the third step from the bottom. And there's Stella eating crunchies on the bottom. They're really pretty close to each other. So far Stella's been behaving. So far Boo's been behaving. Boo, you've been behaving, right? Boo's eating his crunchies on the bottom step and he's eyeing Stella's crunchies like on the ground. But Stella is so mad right now. Like she was swatting at me. Like watch. Like she is so tense and angry. Stella. 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 Stella, it's okay. It's okay. Boo is like peering at Stella from behind me. Stella wasn't happy with that. Stella, be nice. Stella, be a nice girl. Here, crunchies for you. There's crunchies for you. You don't want them? Simba will eat them if you don't want them. Stella's disgusted. So I think this was good progress for Boo. We made it all the way down to the bottom step. Obviously we made it there based on crunchies. And Stella did not hiss or growl, even though she's not happy. Um, but she's obviously kind of angry, but I think Boo did a really good job. You did a good job, Boo. You're a good boy, Boo. 
Stella needs to work out some issues, okay? Okay? Stella. Wow, if looks could kill. Stella. 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 Stella, you're okay. You're okay. Stella's rubbing against her self-groomer. I just gave Stella some crunchies. And Boo has some crunchies. Simba's watching from the catted circuit. All right, Boo has decided that he wants to come down the steps. Still is right there. He's a good boy. He's getting really good on the harness and leash. Right, Boo? You're a good boy. Good boy, Boo. Okay, I have to just rave about how good Boo is doing because he just walked up the steps, through the kitchen, down the hall, and into his room on the harness and leash. And I think this is like the coolest thing ever because if I could get him like harness trained and leash trained really, really good, that is so awesome. I think that is like so cool. That means, boo, you could travel. Boo, we could take trips. Boo, we could go on road trips and you could be like a, a worldly cat. Boo, you could be like, a super cat, a super cat that can travel in a harness and a leash. Isn't that awesome, Boo? Isn't that awesome, Boo? You're super Boo. Boo, this harness is like your superhero costume. You are not just Boo, you're super Boo. All we need is a little cape. I need to put like a little cape on the back of that and then it's super Boo. Right, Boo? When you put your harness on, you transform. You transform into a superhero cat. It's Super Boo. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's about 9 a.m. right now and all the cats are getting fed. Boo already has his breakfast. Downstairs, cats are getting their nature's variety instinct raw bites. I actually have to go buy more raw food for them today because they're getting near the bottom of the bag. We're getting some water with it. Splash is such a happy boy when he eats. He rubs up against Stella, and he rubs up against Simba, and he rubs up against the self-groomer. I'm waiting for him to rub up against me. Come on, Splash, rub up against me. Me, I feed you. Come on, Splash. That was really probably the closest he's ever come. Come on, Splash, rub up against me. Stella's rubbing up against me. Splash rubs against Stella while she rubs up against me. He's contemplating it, like you could see it. See, look at this. Stella knows there's a camera on her, so she just curbed her behavior. I 
Hello, Splash. Stella's still rubbing up all against my legs. You want to eat? Food? Food, Splash? Okay, come on. Let's eat. Here we go. Wait your food splashy. I moved the platter away from the wall. I'm just curious as to whether it's better for them to eat that way because then they have like 360 access versus a more limited access to it. Ten AM. Three cats in the towers. Right now, Stella has to come say hello to me. Hello, Stella. Hello, Stella. You laying by Boo's door? Stella is a completely different girl before she eats and after she eats. Like this morning, she was, you know, kind of nasty. And now, look at this, she's hanging by Boo's door. Like, it's like a different person. It makes me think that Stella's a Gemini. You know how they say Geminis always have like two personalities? I'm pretty sure Stella's a Gemini. Right, Stella? You're a Gemini? If Stella was a Gemini, that means she would have been about 10 months old when she gave birth to the kittens. Which could make sense, because I always thought she was about a year old when she gave birth to the kittens. And that would make Boo a Gemini also. And Boo also has kind of like that split personality thing going on. Now the kittens on the other hand, I'm pretty sure they were born around the end of April based on how big they were when I first saw them, which was probably when they were around four weeks old, which would have been like around the end of May. And that would make the kittens Tauruses. And that would make sense for the kittens because Tauruses are usually very playful. And they're usually kind of stubborn and very down to earth. And both of these, and you know, Simba is so chill and down to earth. And Splash is playful. Oh my gosh, look, he's sitting on this cat tower. It's like crooked. Cat Tower's crooked. Ten thirty two AM. You see what Stella does every time I take the camera out and point it at her? She always has to get up and move and come greet me. Hello, Stella.
10.41 a.m. Stella walked over to Boo's door. Maybe it's because of the cat grass. But just the fact that she's there is a positive thing to begin with. It is almost 12.30 p.m. and I just gave Hydrox a full can of food and some fresh water. The top of the table is like a solid sheet of ice. And this patio is also like a solid sheet of ice. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's all ice. It is mail time. I'm here with Boo and we are going to open up some mail. Okay, let's start with the envelopes and work our way up to the packages. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. It kind of looks like Stella. Isn't that cute? It says, Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. Will you be all my Valentines? I dressed especially for you. I'd love to be invited to the party platter with you guys from Sarah. LF, thank you for those great videos from One Cool Cat to Another, Cool Cat's family, Nicole and Sarah. Well, thank you so much, Nicole and Sarah. That is an adorable card, and check this out. It's a black cat bookmark, and it looks like Boo. And I am going to use this in the book that Lucas gave me that I am still uh, currently reading. Um, so thank you for that. This photo says Sarah is ready for Valentine's Day. You see Sarah? She's all dressed up for Valentine's Day. And here's another picture. It says, Sarah would like to play with you guys. Isn't Sarah cute? Well, thank you so much, Nicole and Sarah. That was really nice of you to send this. And then we have another envelope here. We have a donation of $50 from Michael Clark. Thank you so much, Michael. That is really generous of you to send this check for the cats. Um, I'll deposit it into their account and I am sure it will be put to good use and it will help buy food or litter or it will be put aside for emergency vet funds. Thanks again, Michael. Look at this, look at all the cats. That looks like Boo. This kind of looks like Splash. This kind of looks like Simba. That looks like Stella. They're like all on here, that's so cute. This is Dear Lucky Ferrell's Mom, Boo, Stella, Simba, Splash, and Hydrox. Thank you so much for the Christmas card. Wishing you a harmonious 2018 with all the fur people coming together for playtime and snuggles. Love following your lovely family on YouTube and can't wait for more in 2018. Love, Georgie and Lulu. Well, thank you so much, Georgie and Lulu. Boo says thank you also. That's a really nice card. This says, in appreciation for the wonderful Lucky Ferrell's videos. It doesn't say who it's from. Ooh, we have a Cheesecake Factory gift card. It's a $25 gift card. That is so awesome. And we have another $25 Cheesecake Factory gift card. Very cool. This will make a really nice night out. So thank you guys so much. And we have a $25 gift card to Joann's Fabric and Craft Stores. I love Joann's Fabric and Craft Stores. They always have such cute holiday decorations. So thank you so much to whoever sent these gift cards. It was really nice of you and really generous and I will definitely enjoy using these. This is hi, enjoy your gifts. I feed 28 feral cats almost every day. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine feeding 28 cats a day. I know how expensive it can be. Hope this helps from feral cat lover. Wow, that is 
a lot of cats and I'm sure it's a lot of food. It says, hi, enjoy your gift. I'm sure you could do with a night without cooking. I take care of 28 feral cats and they all get along from feral cat lover. Wow, that's amazing feral cat lover. Do you have a channel with videos? Because if you do, I really wanna check it out. And if you don't, I really encourage you to post some videos. I would love to uh, see the cats and uh, how they interact and some of the ways you feed them and uh, take care of them. That would be amazing. We have a $25 gift card to Boston Market, which is great. I love going to Boston Market when um, I don't feel like cooking because I could get, I usually get like the um, side item sampler so I could get like three side items and uh, I feel like I'm eating something healthy versus like going to like a burger joint or something. So that is great. And uh, $50 to Lowe's, that is so nice also. This definitely helps with stuff for the backyard, uh, stuff I might need for the outdoor shelters, um, or for the automatic feeder setup, and also um, I need to construct maybe a new feeding table, and this would be great for that. So thank you so much, Feral Cat Lover. That was really, really nice of you. Let's open this box. It says, Hi Lucky Ferals, Happy Valentine's Day, Stella, Boo, Simba, Splash, and Hydrox from Sheba and Muffy. Wow, that's great, Sheba and Muffy. We have a case of instinct cat food for the cats. Oh, they're going to love this. We actually have two cases of instinct chicken formula for the cats. Sheba and Muffy know exactly what the cats enjoy eating. Hydrox eats this every day, and the inside cats get this um, when I forget to defrost the raw food for them. So thank you so much, Sheba and Muffy. This is really helpful. It is 8.45 p.m. I just got home. It's around 20 degrees out, although that thermometer shows a little bit colder than it actually is. So I would say it's about 28 degrees out. And uh, when I was unloading the car, Hydrox came out of his house and he's looking for food. So I'm going outside and I am going to give Hydrox half a can of food because it's dark out and it's late and I just don't want to leave a bunch of food lying around on the patio all night if he doesn't need it. There's Hydrox. He's sitting on the patio. He looks cold, so I'm going to let him eat and then I'll let him go back in his cat shelter. I already gave Boo some food. He's in his room. He was on free roam all day. Right now, I'm giving the downstairs cat some food, and then I'm going to let them upstairs. We're doing a live stream from their cat beds. Right, guys? Right. I don't know where Simba is. I think Simba went upstairs. There you go, Splash, eh? Here comes Simba. Hello, Splashy. Are you going to eat? Eat your food. Okay, you want more pets? Okay. Oh my gosh. You guys just missed it. It's about midnight right now, and I was walking down the hallway. And Stella was laying in this cat grass, like completely laying in it, sitting on top of it and laying in it. That's why it's all flat. And this cat grass is right across the hall from Boo's room. I'm like shocked. 12.30 a.m. and Stella was doing it again. She was laying on the grass. Check it out guys, now Splash is laying in the grass. You're gonna hit Simba because you're hangry? Poor Simba. Simba, you don't need to get hit because your mom's hungry. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 
8.45 a.m. Good morning, Stella. Splash and Simba are in the window. Boo's in his cat tower also. Okay, this is really interesting. Right now I am scooping out the litter boxes. I already scooped out the box on the left with the Dr. Elsie's litter in it. And I just sifted the box on the right with the world's best cat litter in it. The Dr. Elsie's box was like full, loaded. It has not been uh, sifted in about two days. And this one is like empty. Like they used it like maybe two or three times. That was it. So that leads me to believe that the cats really like the Dr. Elsie's litter better than this world's best cat litter. Which is a shame because I can't use the Dr. Elsie's litter in this sifting litter box. Not after what happened last time. It was such a nightmare to clean it out of those holes on the bottom of that tray. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with the cats in a few days. But if they consistently choose to use Dr. Elsie's litter over uh, this world's best cat litter. I don't know. I might have to switch it out. I don't want to get rid of the sifting litter box because it's so much faster to clean than the one where you have to scoop. So Simba really knows his name. I'm down here with the cats. I'm just about to feed them. Just cleaned out the litter and I don't see Simba. So I yell upstairs. I'm like, Simba, are you eating? And then I hear a plunk because he was obviously on the cat tower in the window. And then I hear him running across the house. I hear his little paws, and then I see him coming down the steps. So, Simba's a good boy. The cats are getting their breakfast. This is the nature's variety instinct raw chicken bites. Come on, guys, who's eating? Are we all eating? 10, 10 a.m. It is 6.56 p.m. I just got home a few minutes ago and uh, Stella would like to eat some dinner. And so would Simba. Hello, Boo. Did you have a nice day today? What'd you do? It is like 11 p.m. right now and I just finished today's live stream. I want to give a shout out to Smarty Plum for the 10 pound donation. Thank you so much, Smarty Plum. That is so nice of you uh, to support the channel like that with Super Chat. I also wanna give a shout out to Chelsea, Lila, and friends who donated $25 today through Streamlabs. She says, happy Friday, Luckies. So um, thanks so much, Chelsea, Lila, and friends. Um, that was really nice of you to send in that donation and it definitely helps support the channel and support the cats. It is 11.20 p.m. Boo's on free roam right now. He could be anywhere in the house that he wants to be, except for downstairs. And he's in his cat tower. Right, Boo? You want to sleep in your cat tower. He was in the living room with me and then I was doing something online and then I looked and I'm like, where's Boo? Where's Boo at? And he's here. He's sleeping in his cat tower. Now, I want to tell you guys something. So today, Boo had a first and I'm really proud of him because Boo ate crunchies out of my hand. That's right, Boo ate crunchies out of my hand with out biting off a finger without biting me at all. In fact, 
he ended up licking my fingers clean. That is so huge for Boo because it wasn't too long ago that I could not even like put my hand near him if there was food in my hand. Like if I had a treat or crunchies, he would kind of like attack my hand or at least scratch it really bad. And now he ate treats out of my hand. What a good boy, Boo. You're such a good boy. He didn't actually eat treats out of my hand. He ate crunchies out of my hand. And I've just been using crunchies as a treat. So um, when I say crunchies, it's basically just dry cat food. That's what I refer to as crunchies. And Boo had quite a bit of crunchies. I mean, he didn't have like a ridiculous amount, but he had a good amount because we were doing the live stream and if I give him crunchies, then he would stay on the camera. Boo's a very good boy today, right, Boo? Yay! There's a dog barking outside. The wheatgrass has been in Boo's room most of the day today. Now I'm hearing like a person with the dog barking. I looked out the other windows, but I couldn't see anything. I hope the dog wasn't barking at Hydrox or anything. Okay, so from what I can tell, it seems that there was a skunk involved with the dog because it reeks like skunk. Like, I don't have any windows open and it reeks like skunk. Like, I just walked into Boo's room. Oh my gosh, it's just horrible. So, that dog had to have been dealing with the skunk. Either that or it's just a really strange coincidence that some skunk has been spraying. And I smell it in multiple rooms, not just one room, so it must be really strong outside. I guess they think they're going to get crunchies. Hello, Simba. Simba, do you want crunchies? Would you like some crunchies, Simba? Crunchies? Now, one thing I should mention about talking to cats, which I always do, and I kind of just assume other people do also, but I know that's not the case. When talking to cats, always visualize in your mind, in images, what you are talking about in words. So when I'm saying to Simba, Simba, would you like some crunchies? I'm also picturing the crunchies in my mind and kind of imagining what they would taste like. Because cats don't really communicate in, you know, words as much as they do in images and feelings. So whenever I try to communicate with a cat, I actually try to do it three ways at once. So I'm doing it verbally as I'm talking to them. I'm doing it mentally with images and at the same time, I'm doing it physically with feelings. Right, Simba? I just turned around and Stella was standing on the grass. But when she saw me, she 
jumped off of it. But you see how flat it got? Stella flattens grass. Hello, Stella. How are you? Stella, would you like crunchies? Would you like crunchies, Stella? Want some crunchies? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I pet you wrong? I pet your head wrong? Yeah, Stella ran down the stairs waiting for crunchies. Stella, are you hangry? You're hangry? You gonna hit Simba? You gonna hit Simba because you're hangry? Poor Simba. Simba, you don't need to get hit because your mom's hungry. They're eating their crunchies and I'm giving them a few at a time. As if they were treats. So here's some crunchies on my hand. Let's see what Stella does. Normally she will not eat them if they're on my hand. Like she acts like they're not even there. Is she gonna eat them? Will she try to knock them off? Nope, she's gonna ignore them. You don't want them? See, if I put them down, she eats them. But if I leave them on my hand, she won't touch them. You guys want more treats? So here's Simba. Here's Stella. Here's Boo. And there's Splash. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo.
was gonna give Boo his breakfast in his room, but he just wanted to hang out here near the gate. So I put the breakfast down, but he's not gonna eat it. Still is ready to eat. <laughs> 10.43 a.m. Stella has decided she wants to lay next to the cat grass and maybe kind of use it as a pillow. Today has officially been three weeks since I started this cat grass. So it's lasted quite a long time. Now obviously the first few days there was no grass because it had to grow. But as you can see, Simba likes it also. I think Stella just got a little annoyed. Poor Stella, she doesn't have much alone time because all the cats like her. So they always want to hang out with her, right Simba? You love your mommy? Simba. Simba. I just saw this in the living room. Simba and Splash. They look like they want to play. So I am going to turn all of those toys on. Let's see what they do. I just walked into the kitchen. This is what I saw. The cats love using this wheatgrass as a bed.
It is 1 p.m. It's about 40 degrees out and it's raining slightly. I'm giving Hydrox half a can of food and some fresh water. It is 7.47 p.m. I just built a campfire for the cats. I built it inside of this cat it circuit. I have five LED candles. I have a tall one in the middle and four little votive size candles around it. And then I have some paper towel rolls covered in shelf liner. And the shelf liner looks like wood. And I think the shelf liner was from the Dollar Tree. And I think it looks like a campfire. Stella's on top of the cat tower. Simmons splash her downstairs and Boo's in his room. Well, you want to lay by the fire? Stella, did you want to lay by the fire? You can lay by the fire. Do you like it? It's pretty, Stella, right? You like the fire? Should I let Boo out? Boo's in his harness. I put Boo in his harness before he ate. And I was going to let Boo out. Maybe I could have... Boo and Stella have like a nice little candlelit evening by the campfire. All right, we got Boo and Stella at the campfire. We're gonna have crunchies. Gonna have crunchies, Boo. Come on, guys. Splashes in the hallway. They're both eating crunchies by the campfire. Look at this. Simba's gonna walk over. Simba's looking for some crunchies. Okay, Simba, here you go. Boo, I'll give you yours, okay? Hold on. Three cats eating crunchies by the campfire. I just gave them more crunchies. Splash is watching from the hall. Okay, guys. Okay, boo. I threw some crunchies to Splash in the hall, so he has some too. I feel like Boo is stepping up to be the daddy of the group. That's just how it feels right now. Because he's behaving. And Stella's behaving. I just grabbed the party platters on the other side of the room. I am still determined to get the three of them to eat on the party platter together. Hey! Stella? Here. Here, boo, eat that side. Stella, this is your side. Eat your side. Stella? Stella? Eat your crunchies. Okay, Stella? 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 No? Alright, no, no party platter. No one's having a party platter. If you can't handle a party platter, Stella, you can't have a party platter. I'll give boot crunchies. No crunchies for you, Stella. Because you can't handle a party platter. You want it to yourself? Here. Have it all to yourself. Is that how you want it? Stella, you want it all to yourself? I just gave you the whole party platter. 
Here. Stella, you could have you could have all of them. They're all yours, Stella. Eat all of your crunchies. Yeah, eat those. Stella, you were doing so good. You even scared Simba away. You want this, boo? Yeah. Who's nervous that he's gonna get smacked by Stella again? Well, I do have to say, I mean, this is the closest that Stella has been eating to Boo. So maybe something about the party platter trigger something in her? I mean, they were doing so well before it brought the party platter over. Maybe she remembers when they ate together on it outside and it's bringing back the bad memories of when Boo left her. Because, you know, she moved on to the patio with the kittens and Boo did not move on to the patio with her. Boo continued to roam the woods. And I'm sure that pissed her off. It wasn't until the following summer that Boo moved on to the patio, so... You guys are doing good, okay? Everyone's happy. Happy girl, Stella? Okay, so I took the party platter away and they pretty much just went back to eating close to each other on the rug. Excuse me, Stella. Right then, Stella sounded like Simba. Do you remember the time Simba was eating the crunchies in Boo's room and he was like growling at the same time he was eating the crunchies? Like it totally reminded me of Cookie Monster. That's exactly what Stella's doing. What are you doing, Stella? You growling? I keep throwing crunchies to Splash in the hallway because he doesn't want to come in here. I mean, I have to say, I do think Stella is getting better. You know, even though she swatted at Boo, she's getting better. Like, it's going to take her some time. I look over at Splash, and I feel like he's playing outfield. He's, like, waiting for someone to hit the ball to the outfield. So here's Simba. Here's Stella. Here's Boo. And there's Splash. Splash? Boo. Stella. Simba. And here's the campfire. So when Stella gets kind of done with Boo, she goes into her house. It's so funny. This is Stella's little getaway. It's her little girl getaway. Okay, Stella, would you like some crunchies in your house? I gave Stella some crunchies in her house. She's not too interested in them. Maybe she had enough. So right now, Boo is the only one that's still eating crunchies. He's here. Splash is on the other side of the rug, just like watching. He's been eating some crunchies. That's what Boo's eating right now. I was throwing crunchies to Splash and Boo's eating all of Splash's crunchies. Simba is watching from the cat tower and Stella is in her cat house. Hey, Stella. How are you? Boo's over there by Splash. Good boy, Boo. Good boy, Boo. You're a good boy, Boo. Okay. That deserves some more crunchies. So Boo was laying here in the hallway after gobbling up any crunchy that was left and Simba walked right past him. Simba went into Boo's room and Simba's laying on top of the cat tower. Now, remember, this cat tower used to be Simba's cat tower. He used to love this cat tower. Probably more so than Stella or Splash. 
and he used to love laying on top of the cat tower. So I personally don't see this as like a power grab by Simba. I see it as Simba saying, you know, I love my cat tower and I wish I could spend more time on my cat tower again. I think he misses it. You know, even though they have the beautiful cat tower downstairs, I think he was attached to this one. He likes the new one too, but Boo came into his room. Splash just came into the hallway. What I would like to do right now is bring Boo downstairs. But I would like to do that with all three cats upstairs. And if I move Boo out of his room now, I think Splash is going to run for downstairs. So if Splash goes in the living room, then I could take Boo downstairs and all the other cats would be upstairs. But as long as Splash is in the hallway, I don't think I'm going to be able to get Boo downstairs. So here's Boo laying in his room. I have the leash on the doorknob. He hasn't really moved or anything. There's Simba on the cat tower. Uh-oh. Good boy, Boo. You're such a good boy, Boo. What a good boy you are. It looks like he's trying to eat the olives off of it. He's going for the olive. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Simba. How are you? Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Boo. He just jumped down from his cat tower. Good morning, Stella. I'm just about to take some food out to Hydrox and Boo's been a really good boy so I am giving him a very small spoonful of it it's been raining hard all morning which is why I haven't brought food out yet it's probably around 12.45 right now For some reason, Boo has not eaten his breakfast. I think he's holding out for crunchies, which is not a good thing. Even though I want to use the crunchies to help train him, I feel like I don't want to do it on a daily basis because he might stop eating his food because he's like, oh, I'm just gonna get crunchies later. So I feel like I need to kind of keep it inconsistent. That way he'll eat his food. Okay, I just gave Hydrox half a can of food and I filled up his water and when I came outside I saw him walking across the driveway like toward the patio and right now he's hiding under the fence in the back. Oh no he's not. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. I thought it was Hydrox but it's not Hydrox. It's a Hydrox look-alike. Oh my gosh, because Hydrox, that's Hydrox. He just came running out from the shelter. 
I don't know who that other cat is, but it looked just like Hydrox. Like, I thought it was Hydrox, and I was like, oh, Hydrox is coming from the driveway. And then I was like, oh, the cat's hiding behind the fence, which was weird. As I was saying it, I was thinking to myself, why is Hydrox hanging out under the fence? Because he always hangs out here on the patio. But look, it's not Hydrox. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that other cat before. Hydrox, who is that cat? Come here. Hydrox, come here and tell me, who is that cat? Who is that cat? Do you know? You gonna talk to me? You talking to me? Who is that? Who's that cat? Who is it, Hydrox? Wow, this is, this is interesting. So, I moved over to the patio because I was like, come here, Hydrox, come eat your food. And I'm standing here maybe four or five feet away from these tables and Hydrox just walked over to the food to eat. Good for Hydrox because lately Hydrox has been waiting for me to go inside. But the fact that he's eating now while I'm standing here, that's good. All of the wet cat food that I just put out was eaten, so I'm putting out the other half of the can. Splash is sitting next to the campfire. The campfire's not lit right now. It's only about 3.30 in the afternoon. Stella and Simba are getting ready for their Valentine's Day dinner. I put the uh, Italian restaurant tablecloth down. And we're gonna have pizza. The cats are gonna have their pizza today, right Stella? You guys gonna have pizza? Simba, you ready for your pizza? Are you ready for your pizza? Okay, so Pooh's eating his crunchies here. Simba has totally hogged up the party platter. Stella is eating her crunchies there, and Splash is in the hall eating his crunchies. I threw some crunchies at him. And um, there are some big rips in this because this was the cat's like first Christmas tree skirt downstairs and they kind of tore it up. The plan is to give them all some crunchies and then after they have their crunchies, they can have their pizza dinner for Valentine's Day. I want everybody to be nice to each other, got it? Okay, so Stella backed away. She's like behind Simba and Boo's still where he is and Simba's just kind of in the middle. Splash is still in the hallway. I just throw crunchies at him and he hunts him. Now Boo doesn't want to eat crunchies with them. Here. Here. Get your crunchies, everybody. Okay, three cats eating crunchies in a circle. There's a bunch of crunchies over there for Splash, but he doesn't want to get them. Here comes Splash. He's trying to be brave. 
really do it. Yay! Easy to them off of the tablecloth. Hello. Hello, Stella. It's okay, boo. What you doing? Stella? Stella? You gonna be a nice girl, Stella? You gonna be nice, Stella? We have a cat pizza. It says Kitty has tried all the rest, now try the best. This is from Easyology Pets, and this was sent to the cats from George Senda. And this is what it looks like inside. It's a pizza with five toppings. There's pepperoni, or maybe it's a meatball. There's a mushroom, there's extra cheese, there is an onion and there is a tomato and these are supposed to be catnip toys for the cats so I am going to serve them their pizza and let's see if they want to eat it I think Boo will eat it because he's the only one still left here on the tablecloth there's the pizza on the table who's gonna be the first cat to take a piece who wants pizza come on guys you want pizza Who found the pizza? Boo wants the meatball. Or maybe he wants the onion. Here comes Simba. Boo took the onion. What does Simba want? Simba's going to take the mushroom. Simba took the mushroom. This was supposed to be a romantic Valentine's Day dinner between Stella and Boo. But I guess Stella has other plans. Nope. Boo, you could only have one piece. One piece each. I have to save one for Hydrox. I think I'll save the... What, ooh, what should I save for Hydrox? Which one should Hydrox have? Maybe I'll give Hydrox the cheese. I'll save the cheese for Hydrox. I'll give Stella... I'm going to give Stella the spicy meatball. Stella! And I'll give Splash the tomato.
Boo has decided he wants to eat Simba's mushroom. Do you see how he's trying to tear these things apart? Simba has decided he wants to eat Boo's onion. Boo's tearing that mushroom apart. All the cats are watching Boo. They can't believe how rough he is. Simba's trying to play with the leash. Now, this could be a really bad idea since these are all catnip toys and we know how cats can behave when they've had catnip. So I'm just watching everything really carefully because I feel like, you know, things could get crazy at any minute. Stella's watching Boo. Boo's having a good time. The other cats are either all zonked out from the catnip or they're just like watching from the sidelines. I just put a bunch of crunchies on the pizza. Splash is a bit hesitant around Boo ever since they got in that fight. I mean, he still likes Boo, he just is very cautious around him. It looks like he's trying to eat the olives off of it. He's going for the olive. Simba, what was that about? Simba! You like your pizza? They're both eating crunchies off of the pizza at the same time. Look at that. I put crunchies on the pizza. They're both eating them. So Simba and Boo would have no problem like sharing a platter for dinner. They would have no problem with that. It's just the other ones, Stella and Splash. I don't know if they would join in. Maybe if Stella was hungry enough, but Stella gets angry when she gets hungry, so. 
I just put more crunchies on the pizza. put more crunchies on the pizza. So there's crunchies on the pizza. Stella, there's crunchies on the pizza. Eat the crunchies, Stella. Eat the crunchies on the pizza. You could do it. Cut! Okay, so Stella's in a timeout under the dining room table. She's not allowed back in the living room. I'm gonna take her downstairs. Can't have this behavior. Boo's eating all the rest of the crunchies. That's it. I just put the campfire back together for the cats. Everything looks really good. Maybe this will calm the atmosphere down a little bit. Boo's already hanging out near it. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.